I'm sorry, Vader, but I think you've been dethroned as far as cool bust in my collection. This is cool as hell. What is up, fellow collectors? Welcome back to the channel. I am back after a week. It's been a while. I got a huge statue to unbox, though. Initially, it was supposed to be a Marvel unboxing that I was going to be doing for you guys this Monday, but the statue that I got there came in broken, so that, you know, that, it happens. It, it kind of sucked, but... Last week, I got something even better, something I'm more excited about. I have a sideshow, life-size bust of Boba Fett in the house. And you know me, I'm a Star Wars guy. That's what I love, you know? So when I saw that come in, I was like, heck, Marvel. I want to see this Star Wars thing. So I was really hyped about that. I picked it up at Comic Concepts. If you guys don't know about Comic Concepts, they have the best prices around on all kinds of collectibles from statues like Prime One Studios and Sideshow all the way to the Hot Toys figures. So if you're looking to get something at a great price and you can wait a little bit, get it from Comic Concepts. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to get to them. So with all of that out of the way, it is time. It is time to get the statue out of the box. It's a huge freaking box. It took all of my muscle power to get it upstairs. And I got the box sitting in my daughter's room right now. It's because I cannot fit it in here to get it unboxed. So let's go take a look at what comes in the foam. All right, all right, all right. There is the foam split in half, two layers. It's a very big box, a very heavy box. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, it, it was a struggle for me to get this upstairs. I, I would probably recommend having two people carry it. It does have a lot of weight. Uh, the top half has the part of the jetpack. You can see there, and then that is the cape. The jetpack does stick out of the back of the foam a little bit that where it pegs in, so uh, also keep that in mind as well. I got a towel beneath it, you guys can't see. Uh, and then the lower half has the base itself. You got Boba Fett right there. Looks like the head is turned. I'm wondering if the head is poseable. I'm not really sure. I didn't bother to take a look at that before I ordered it. <laughs> and uh, then you have the shoulder plate and a couple other things here. So... Let's get all this stuff out of the box and assembled, and then take a look at Boba Fett in all of his glory. I can't wait. Okay. So here's the base. It's, it's got a lot of weight to it. Glossy uh, look to it. Looks like I might need to wipe it down some. Um, the bottom of the base looks like that. It just says limited edition. They don't, they don't have a numbered uh, edition for this. This does have uh, uh, power. It has uh, um, light-up features. So I'm curious to see what that's going to look like. Some areas of it look like it's kind of scratched up here on the side. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that either. Kind of kind of weird looking. You know, one side seems kind of clean. On the other side seems, I don't know, like roughed up. Maybe it's supposed to look like that. Not really certain if it's supposed to look like that or not. I mean, it's all black, so it's kind of hard to tell. So either way, not kind of impressed with that at all. I, I kind of wish it would just be either all glossy or you have uh, some weathering to it and everything. But that's really not the most important thing. Let's get the bust out here and see what the rest of it looks like. So, it's like you got a wire that plugs in as well as the peg. Oh, let's see if we can get this in there without any issues. Probably should plug it in before I, I, I peg them up. This would be a lot easier with the second person. Mm. Uh, this is a little bit of a bear. <laughs> Much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. All right, I got it in there. Um, you know, I know things go wrong at times, and that, that, that happens. Happens to me a lot with Sideshow stuff, but it happens. And uh, this one here had a fight to get into the peg. There's a peg that sticks way out, and you have to plug a wire right into there, and then the body goes into to place. The problem I had was that the hole that it's supposed to plug into, it was too wide for the, or the, the, the peg was too wide for the hole that it's got to go into. So from the looks of it, there was all kinds of like, um, like crud or something up in the, in, in the hole itself. 
and it was causing it to wobble. I'll leave a little video here that I, that I did to give to Sideshow to let them know what went down. I ended up having to take and put a file to it on the inside, put WD-40 on the actual shaft itself, and then finally it was able to slide in after almost 35 minutes of sanding. So that really sours the unboxing experience for me. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm really bugged out with, with that. You know, when you're spending this kind of money on something, I really want stuff to, to actually be handled correctly and fit, you know, all the QC issues being taken care of. So my experience is easy because now I got all kinds of dust all over the place in here, all on my phone, on my hands, on my arms. I'm going to have to take a bath after I, after I uh, unbox this piece, which, you know, it's a normal thing. I got to take a bath, but still, you know, <laughs> you know, I shouldn't have to do that because I'm unboxing a statue. All right, that's it. Let's continue to unboxing this thing because I want to see how the rest of them looks. Got the option to either have the, the cape or not have the cape. I kind of like this because I think what I'm going to do is get a uh, uh, like a piece of fabric that looks like this, and then just use this to plug in the cape up here, so I don't have to have this huge flowing uh, cape back here. So that's my thought anyway. Um, looks like the shoulder pad goes in first. Let me go get the shoulder pad before I put this in. Cool. Damn. Dude, that is that is cool. Wow. Let's check that out, man. This is super, super freaking dope. All right, I gotta see the light-up features. Let's see what the light-up features can do. One super cool thing that I wanna mention, though, they gave you a long wire with the plug, so that's cool. Good job there. Let's check this thing out. Oh, that's dope, that light. That's cool. And then you have a light way back here. That one's harder to see. But that, that on the front is sick. Wow. That is cool. I kind of wish this would have lit up. That would have been dope. I mean, the thing going in the base would have been... I don't know how much harder that would have been to make this light up. But that uh, light up feature on the chest and the digital display readout, that is cool as hell, man. Yeah, this is, this is a sick bust. Lots of detail on it. I'm sorry, Vader, but I think you've been dethroned as far as cool bust in my collection. This is cool as hell. <laughs> this is so dope. More moments later. All right, so I'm back here to talk a little bit about the uh, Boba Fett bust. This thing is super awesome. I mean, it's really, really cool. When I look at it, I totally feel like I got the badass bounty hunter in my collection. I mean, it is, it is freaking wild how cool this thing looks. I, I, have, I have the Hasbro life-size helmet there, but it does not compare to this. This is cool, all right? Um, assembly, at least for me, sucked. You know, because that, that shaft didn't fit correctly into the hole of the, of the uh, actual body. So that, I, you know, you may not experience that. But if you do, you're going to need a, a pretty small file. And you're going to be able to go in there. And you're going to have to sand down the hole to be able to get the peg inside. Otherwise, you can wait for Sideshow to, to send you out a new bus. Which, this thing is already delayed heavily. So I don't know how much longer you want to wait. There's no number addition on this one. That kind of bites. I wish that... You know, when, when you make something this expensive, that they would uh, make it a, a numbered edition, you know, because, you know, it makes, makes me feel better when I see a number on it. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I like all of the weathering that they threw on this. It looks realistic, you know, like it's got all kinds of scuffs and damages all around it and everything that looks pretty dope. Um, you know, I like that you have a lot of weathering in the back. I'm going to unplug the cable here for a little bit, you know, turn the light up features in a little bit so you can get a spin around here. It doesn't have a full jet pack on the back, but this is how it looks from the rear. It does have a considerable amount of weight to it, so keep that in mind. It's, it is a very heavy bust. 
This guy with the visor up there is 30 inches tall, a little over 30 inches tall. You got about 27 to 28 inches if you decide to display it with the cape in width. If you decide not to, it's going to stop here and it's going to cut you, it's going to cut down about about almost uh, three to four inches. So it, it cuts down some serious space with this uh, cape. The cape actually gives you a lot of extra not needed space. Uh, the cape brings you all the way back to 23 inches in depth. So you're gonna need that kind of space if you wanna display it with this cape the way it sits. Now, um, I don't know why they didn't go with a mixed media cape. That's something that, I mean, I'm, I both like and dislike. This looks really, really cool. Uh, I wish they would have thrown in a mixed media cape you know, just in case you didn't have space for this is because I certainly don't have enough space to go this kind of depth. So um, that would have been nice. And, and it would have matched a little bit with the Vader bus, which has a mixed media cape. So that's, that's another reason why I think that it should have had that. It is cool that none of the rest of this is, uh, is material. It's, it's all sculpted and they did a really nice job with the folds and everything. It makes it look very realistic. So I like that. The details look really cool. The best thing is these light up features. I like that you have a battery option and you also have a plug in option. And I like that they gave you a long enough cable for you to be able to put this in, in an area and then have the cable you know, feed back behind your display because I'm gonna need to do that. Um, absolutely wanna have this on some kind of smart plug so that when I turn on all my lights, it comes on with it because that little display here on the chest is so cool. I just love how that looks. It looks really, really dope. Um, the helmet is movable. You know, so you could take the helmet off and you could turn it and all that. So you can get, you know, a little bit more of a display option than you could with, uh, with Vader, uh, which is cool. I don't know that you want to do that or not because the head is actually turned in this direction the way I have it. So this is the way that I'm going to display it. It actually works out for me. But if you're, you know, you want to take and have the, the helmet aimed in another direction, you can turn the helmet, you know, and, get, and give you that option to display it, you know, looking more forward if you wanted to have it forward you know, or whatnot, you know, whatever it is that you, whatever it is you want to do. And then you have an articulating visor, which also has a light up feature, but I don't know what kind of battery that takes. Um, it doesn't say in the instructions what battery that takes either. So I'm going to have to guess or contact Sideshow and find out what goes in there. The Wookiee hairs here is a nice touch. It, it has, this is mixed media. Probably the only thing that is mixed media on this is the Wookiee hairs. Overall, man, this is a dope bust. I really like the way this looks, regardless of my experience with the unboxing. You know, artistic-wise and the look of it, I think it's fantastic, and they did a great job for it. I think if you're a big Boba Fett fan, if you're a Star Wars fan, this is a must-have, you know, in the collection room. This is cool. I like this a lot. Uh, so I can't wait to get this in display. My plan is to put it right back here so that every time I walk in the room, I'm flanked by two awesome Star Wars busts. So that's my thoughts anyway. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this one right here. Do you like it? Are you getting it? Are you waiting for it? I know it's been delayed pretty good. Let me know what you think. Which bust do you like best from Star Wars? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, keep it marvelous and may the force be with you. Mm -hmm.